Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura, and a lot of us like to read in bed, and the only problem with reading in bed is, well, propping those pillows behind our back. So I am going to make a very easy triangular pillow that's going to fit in the back. So it puts us in that proper angle and we can maybe read a little longer in bed. This is going to be a great project if you know someone who is going to be bed bound because, well, they're going to want to be propped up and you might as well make it pretty and comfortable. So let's get started. This is going to be very easy. You are not going to need a pattern because I'm going to give you all the measurements. You are going to need a nice big bag of polyfill and you're going to need fabric. And that's the fun part, is choosing the fabric. I like to read books about travel, so I've chosen this fabric called Ooh La La because it sort of represents Paris. And it has a lot of big, fun prints. And of course, I'm going to want thread to match. So the first thing we're going to cut out are the sides of the pillow, and this will be the triangular shape. So to start with, you are going to need two pieces of fabric and they must be right sides touching. 13 inches by 18 inches. You need to cut it right on the diagonal. Now you will use one stack. This stack you will not be able to use so you cannot use the same piece. The reason is you need to have the triangles going in the same direction. And if you have your triangle going in this direction, this one has to match it. But if you were thinking you could use the other side of the red one in order for them to both be on the same angle, this one, well, you're going to end up sewing it so the fabric would be backwards. But in order not to waste that stack of fabric, we're going to make pockets with it. But let's put our two sides away. This is the opposite side. Okay, measure from the bottom up six and a half inches and cut off this triangle. So six and a half inches, this can be discarded. On the short end, you'll be able to fold it over once and fold it over again and top stitch down and do that to both of the short ends. So when you've finished doing the ends, you will be able to match up the edges and this will become a pocket. Now stitch this down with a quarter inch. So the sides are done. Let's work on the top piece, which is the main piece that you are going to see. Now I wanted to use this fabric and it wasn't big enough, so I just added borders until I got to the size that I wanted. So it is 20 inches by 22 inches. The next piece I'm going to need to work on is the back of the pillow. That's the part that would face the headboard or the wall and that piece needs to be 18 inches by 22 inches. Stitch the two of those together and stitch a quarter inch all the way down. So we have the front and the back. Now we need the bottom of the pillow. The bottom of the pillow needs to be 13 inches and again by 20 inches. And you need to sew that on the bottom of your top piece. Again, sew a quarter inch. Take time and press the seams open and flat. It will just make it a lot easier. Now we need to put the sides on it. When we originally cut the rectangle in half, we had it 13 inches by 18 inches. So the cut edge, that is the edge that is going to match up with your front piece. This is going to match up to the bottom this will be matching up to the back and it's going to seem a little weird. The 45 degree cut from your rectangle is going to go on both sides of your front piece and you're going to sew starting right in the middle of that open seam. You're going to start there, you're going to sew all the way down at a quarter inch, stopping in the middle of this open seam and do that on both sides. So I've started right at that point and I've stitched all the way and you can see that I have that end that's flapped and that end that is stitched down. When you turn it over you will see that you have a piece that is not stitched down and that's what you want. This side here is the back. There's your pocket. You're going to take this edge and this edge and match them up with the seams 
matching. And you will be able to pin this because you're going to be able to sew it all the way along that raw edge. And you're going to be able to stop exactly where you started in the last seam. Start up a couple inches so that you have a flap here. It's just going to be easier to work with in the next stage. So we've left a little bit of an opening at the seam. So the last seam of the triangle is going to have to go on the bottom. And again, take your corner and your corner, match it up, and you're going to be able to sew down here. Again, leave a little bit of an opening. Stitch about two inches all the way, stopping right at that point where you started. So we only have the bottom and the back to sew together. And that's why leaving the extra seams here open will make it easier. Line up your two pieces, your back and your bottom together and stitch down one side and stitch the other side and you're going to leave an opening between the back and the bottom. I know it looks a little strange but if you pull these ends up you will see that that has that triangular shape. When you match your seams you're going to be able to start right where that seam is. Don't sew into the seam. Just start right at that stitching line and go down. And then you will be able to do the same here. You're going to be able to start at your stitching line and go down. So you never sew into that seam allowance. You see how you stop and start inside. So you're not sewing right off the edge of the fabric. You're stopping right at the quarter inch mark. So the only thing left is this opening. And that's where we're going to turn the bag right side out. And poke out your corners. So you will have three corners on each side to poke out. So you see you have the side, the front, the back, and the bottom. Now we get to stuff it. When you're stuffing this, make sure you get a lot of stuffing right in the corners. And it needs to be firmly stuffed because you are going to be supporting your back on this. Now you need to close the seam. So we have the front, the back, the bottom, and that's how the triangular side reaches. So you do have room for pockets on both sides. The key is not sewing off of the edge of your fabric. You need to stop and start a quarter inch into the seams. Now you can always measure that quarter inch if you feel more comfortable. Now if you cannot find a nice big bag of that polyfill, this pillow will take two pillows of stuffing. So if you buy two pillows, you'll be able to take them apart and stuff the pillow. So now we have a nice comfortable pillow for our back that has that nice angle on it. And we have a spot for the books. I do hope you give it a try. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back and let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.